Hello everybody, Joe here talking about them for Fire heating up, I just do some more charcoal on there. Um, I just finished a video, so now I'm starting another one. I've got a couple of videos already made, I need to get posted too. Anyway, so today I'm making a hanger for my anvil stand here. That so I can hang a couple of hammers and my tongs. They're all going to hang on this side, this opposite side for me, right down here. So I have this piece of half inch round, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten it down about quarter inch thick, and I'm going to try and keep it no no wider than three quarters of an inch wide. I'm going to draw the flatten the whole thing out. I'm going to come out off. I'm going to flatten it down. I'm going to come back about halfway on each side. And come out, out, across, and across. And I'm hoping I'll be able to get like a pair of tongs or whatever on either side. Yeah, not even that far. Anyway, I'm just going to come out on the sides a little bit across, across the front. And then my hammers kind of sit like that. Maybe. I'll have to see what I end up with. Not using this hammer at first. Use a Nils hammer. Got the handle thinned out. And I used it on the, my last project and it felt pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this heated up, start working it flat, and we'll be back. Alright you guys, so we're coming up to heat. I'm not gonna show you this whole thing, but I am gonna show you a couple of heats on it. Oh, I have a quarter inch and three quarter inch mark here. So that's about the right thickness. And it's actually not much uh, wider than the original half inch. Basically what I'm going to do to this whole bar, bring down about half the thickness. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and just try to keep it all the same width. You know, the original half inch or 13 mil, 12 point whatever mil, 12.4. Okay, I'm going to take it down to a quarter inch, which is Six mil. So that section there is good. Yeah. Move up the heat a little bit. Move it up in this area. Work this next section. And uh, I'm sure you don't want to watch all this. So I'll bring you back when I get this all flattened out and we get ready to move on to the next step. All right, everybody. So it got warm enough. I had to take my jacket off. Um, got everything. Drawn down approximately quarter inch thick, half inch wide. I measured the width. A found center, marked it, guesstimated center on here, marked the edges. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a 90 degree bend on either side, and if possible, after I get it set to the right step, I'm going to uh, bring it out and make another hook for a hammer or something. It looks like we're warm enough on this end, so we're going to go ahead and get the camera adjusted. I'm going to bring it in a little closer here. Alrighty, and I'm just going to do a 90 degree right over the edge here. Right about... About there. Was it worth that? Yeah.
Yeah, it's pretty dang close. Alrighty. Third bin number one. I'm gonna cool this in. I'm gonna cool this end off. Put this end in the fire and heat up right here. <coughs> And uh, do the same bend. There's the camera again here. So it's going to come out about like this. You know, I might bring it out about an inch or so. What I'm looking for on this side, like, like I said, it's like change the plan. So. I want my tongs to be able to hang like that. So all my tongs will be right here on this side. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. Yeah, get this end heated up and work that again. Right there. And there is a little nick on the back. I'm gonna harden that up a little bit more. There we go. Just to feel that. Oh yeah, I can feel that. Okay, cool this end off again. Turn around and get in the fire. I'll be back. Okay, so I got the 90s bin. It's not even even. <laughs> but it... Well, now it's too tight on this side. Is it tight here? Yeah, it is. Well, shoot. Maybe I should have checked it on the same side, but... Oh, it just works. trying to figure out how much material I'm going to have left over. Oh yeah, that's nice. Right there. Okay. So let's see here. I'm going to bring you around on the side so you can see what I'm doing here. Maybe. Yeah, okay. So I want to come in a little bit. But I do want to have a screw here. So I'm going to put a screw here, like that, uh, right about there, so that means I want to bend it here, and here. Yeah, I'll do the same thing over here, bend it here, and here. Like that, like that, like that, like that. Okay. Let me uh, get the camera readjusted. Pull this up here and I'll show you what I did here. Okay. Oh, it's on there. Alrighty, so I marked it two locations here. This location, this first mark, I'm going to bend it 90 degrees that way. This mark, I'm going to bend it 90 degrees back this way. And the same thing on this side. And then, you know, I'll figure out where I want the hole. I'll put it back in place, drill the hole. Actually, I might need to drill two. So. We'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna heat this end up. Let me uh, grab a file here and mark these two corners. Or actually, I uh, can't seem to find my center punch, so we'll just do a little chisel mark right there. Right there. Right there. And right there.
All right. Bin number one. Here we go. I'm going to come out to right here. I'm going to bend that 90 degrees back this way. So I'll be in here like that. So I'll be right back. Everybody got her mounted there. She's solid. I uh, put a couple of drywall screws, two on either side. I know, I know. I'm using drywall screws. But that's what I have right now, so that's what I'm using. So now I have combs. I have. Oh, not that one. oh yeah, I'll use this one over here on this side for my uh, soft hammer. Gonna go there for now. This is my old uh, what two pound? Yeah, two pound. Two and a half pound. Uh, Miller hammer that I got from Harbor Freight and I put a new handle on because the handle was way too short. So, uh, take it to the magnet, pick that one right there, no ground. This hammer still lives in the, in the uh, living room right in front of the TV so I can see it every day. This hammer, it gets used a lot but I don't have a spot for it right now. Nope, nope, nope. So, it will continue to live up on the wall with uh, all the rest of these. But, well, let me actually see something here. That's a clearer one? Yeah. Alright, let me get Hold the phone here. Uh, let me turn this around. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, got that turned around. So, oh, a friend of mine at work gave me this big old beefy bug. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it. Hang it up, whatever. I don't know. But this big link right here. I can't see it right now. Yep, oh, there it is. Right here. You just barely make it out. There's a forge weld. You see it better on in the daylight. Ah, oh, right on my phone. Yeah, there's a, there's, there's a forge weld line right along here. Got right along the bottom. Which is pretty cool. So, anyway, there's the rack. Not it solid. Holding the tongs up. The back of this. Actually catches the back edge of the hammer. Which is what I was doing over here. I hammered that one in so I can still have quick access to them. On either side. And I got my tongs right there in front. Alrighty. I'll just turn it back around, I'll do my out. Alright, everybody, so I got that done. Attached. All my stuff's hanging on the anvil now. I got four sets of tongs, two hammers hanging here. I'll go ahead and hang Grandpa's tongs on there too. Great big ones. I mean, I don't know, I need to adjust them and do some major alterations on them. Wait. There we go. Hopefully those don't interfere when I'm working over the edge of it. So, if so, I'll have to take it off the lower edge or something. Anyway, that's Joe here, Bugs on Forge. Peace. And I'm out. <laughs>